Hello, Graham Bray here from easierinternetmarketing.com and welcome to this next video on how to create content for your newsletter. Now if you remember in the last video we actually put together the whole newsletter and here we've got the basic structure of the first two pages. Now what I want to do in this video is to show you how to finish off um, the last few bits of the newsletter, how to put content in there, where to find some of it and finally how to convert it to a PDF for distribution. So if we have a look now at this, this last page, now what I want to do here is actually split this last page up. I want to put a few extra boxes in this, um, add a site for recommendation and another area here where we can put our web address and a little box here where we can say what's coming up with the next issue. So I'm going to pause the video just at this point while I make these changes and come back and show you what I've done. I've now changed the size of this table here. I've reduced the height to 10 centimeters, and I've introduced a second table here. This one's a single cell, and what I've done is I've made this the same width, which is 18.1 um, centimeters here. And in this box here, I'm going to put recommendations. It could be, for example, um, affiliate links. It could be a book I've read I think um, is worth reading or a DVD worth watching. And below here I've introduced a, another table similar to the top one, the same dimensions. And here I'm going to put a box for to remind people about my website address. And here, um, tell people what's the next issue. Now a little tip here, if you want to colour these boxes quite easily, if you right click on it, so we go right click and go to borders and shading, choose your colour. In this case here I was choosing um, this olive green hue here, click on it. Then down this side here, and apply it to single cell. So drop this down, click on cell, OK, and that will colour just this cell here. So both these are coloured in, makes it stand out a bit. If you wanted to, you could change the font, um, change the colour perhaps, or change the size, use some word art here perhaps. But the back page is slightly different to the rest, but I think that's a nice touch to it. Let's look now at what content we can add. Now, many would-be writers often find content sourcing a bit of a challenge, but in fact when you start looking there's so much out there, it's a case of what you actually choose. Here we've got a list of possible sources of content. Now by no means is definitive, just, just gives you a few ideas. Uh, we can look at um, Google Alerts, one good thing. We could join groups and forums and uh, take part in discussions, again find content there. We could visit, visit other websites or blogs and see what people are writing about. If you've got a particular niche then visit your local um, magazine store and look for magazines about your niche or books etc and uh, reuse content there. I mean obviously avoid plagiarism but there's lots of stuff you'd use there. One of my favorites is um, PLR which I'll explain in a future video or you can go to the public domain and find books that are now out of copyright that you are free to use as you want. Or a final source is eBay now, I'll be extend, expanding on lots of these things in future videos, but for now, um, I actually purchased an eBay disc with over 100 weight training articles on it that I have rights to adapt. Now, the quality wasn't too great, but what I've done is I've taken those and I've reworded them, and that's what I'll be using as my content. Now, back in the newsletter, you can now see virtually the finished product. I've copied and pasted text from my reworded article and I've broken up the text with relevant images purchased from Fotolia.com. In the recommendation box I could include an affiliate link or relevant URL or perhaps a short review of a book. The last thing to do is to move the borders from around the text and pictures. Let's do this and you click on the text wherever it is, go up to the border box, click on no border and the border disappear. Let's just finish off by doing these here, and don't forget this little cell here in between. Now we've now removed all the borders, I'm keeping the one around the recommendation box, and there we have the finished product, which I think looks pretty good. Now the last thing we've got to do is to save our newsletter as a PDF file. You need to save your newsletter as a PDF file. PDF or portable document format is the standard for secure 
and reliable distribution and exchange of documents around the world. So PDF files are actually protected and the text of the document cannot be changed. I always use this site here called Zamzar for my file conversions. It's free and very very quick to use. All I do is simply choose the browse button and I'll take take me to my site and here it's uploaded already my newsletter. Then I choose the format I want to convert to which obviously is PDF. Enter my email here where I want it sent to and convert. And what Zamza will then do, convert my Word document into PDF and send it back to my email and they have got the finished product. It's really really quick, really really easy and it's one I really recommend. OK, in just a few minutes after uploading my file to Zamza, I've got the final product back and I just browse through these pages. Um, you see the quality is pretty good. So I'm very pleased the way that new has turned out. So we have it. I hope you can see now how easy it is to produce your own newsletter and I hope you're willing to have a go. Um, if you have any questions, please visit me at my site www.easierinternetmarketing.com um, and there you can also download my free ebook. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've definitely enjoyed producing it for you and I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.